If the secondary is open, then secondary current becomes zero. Secondary flux, uh, the secondary opposing flux becomes zero. Then from primary large flux is coming. That large flux will damage the, the core. And in the secondary very high voltage, kilowatts or megawatts will be reduced. And the operator who is working on the secondary side will get the shock. It is not safe. So you are not supposed to open the secondary of CT, which will which will be dangerous to the people operating on the side. Such situation I am getting here in my booster transformer. Primary always load current is flowing. Secondary, whenever I keep this switch open, I should keep this switch closed so that my secondary is in shorter condition. So these two are complementary switches. When S1 is on, S2 is off. When S2 is on, S1 is Two filters. Passive filters you have studied, you have used uh, passive filters in the output of the rectifier. So in the output of the rectifier, passive filters are used to absorb beam and harmonics. In the output of the inverter, passive filters are checked to absorb odd harmonics. Output of your UPS or inverter produces 3, 5, 7, 11 odd harmonics. To absorb them, you need passive filters. But active passive filters will absorb the harmonics. Active filters generate the harmonics. Active filters generate the harmonics. So at, uh, our uh, loads are highly nonlinear. The loads at the receiving end are highly nonlinear. So what is linearity? What is nonlinear? I I wish my class should have 60 robots. I prefer to take class to 60 robots. Because if I ask them to stand, they will stand. If I ask them to sit, they will sit. If I ask them to write, they will write. That is linear class. My class in the college in the afternoon is highly nonlinear. Half of them are sleeping. Other 25 percent dreaming. And uh, some of them are uh, trying to write, but not able to write. So nonlinearity means I am expecting something, but that is not happening. So linear load, lamp load is a linear load. I will give a sinusoidal voltage, the current is sinusoidal. Heater is a linear load. Resistive type of heater, I am giving sinusoidal voltage, beautiful sinusoidal current is there. So heater is listening to me, lamp is, incandescent lamp is listening to me. But induction motor is not listening to me, transformer is not listening to me. So the induction motor I give beautiful sine wave, but it draws a distorted current. So with the age, uh, our memory decreases. With the age, the inductance of the of your machine decreases. Then uh, you have non-linearity for the human brain. You have non-linearity for the core. So because of the non-linearity, the current drawn is uh, by transformer is not sine wave. Current drawn by the induction motor is not sine. Fourier says whenever you have a non-linear current, it is somehow useful fundamental current plus so many useless harmonic currents. Fourier theorem says. When you have a distorted current, the distorted current is sum of beautiful fundamental current plus harmonics. So, solid state DC motor draws a square wave current, induction motor draws a distorted current, SMBS draws a spiky current. Every laptop has SMBS, every TV has SMBS. So, the laptop and TV which uses SMBS draws spiky current. Today's brains of youngsters are highly nonlinear. Like that, in our utility, highly nonlinear loads are. So, what is the role of this active filter? The role of active filter, the nonlinear load at the receiving end needs 50 Hz current. It also needs the high frequency harmonic currents. 50 Hz current is supplied by the alternator and high frequency current, the harmonic current is supplied by the active filter. I want to give one example. Uh, example, your younger brother or younger sister at home. So, your younger brother uh, at home uh, is uh, doing a plus 1 or plus 2. He wants uh, some uh, maths, physics, chemistry books. In addition, uh, he wants the latest the Tamil movie. CD of the latest movie or some uh, comics books, etc. So being the elder brother, you give that uh, comics book, uh, etc. and uh, let the father give uh, uh, mass physics uh, chemistry books. So father is alternator, who will be giving the useful 50 words current. Active filter is yourself and you will be supplying the harmonics needed. 
So if this is done, then the current from the sending end is reduced. Fourier triangle, you know. What is Fourier triangle telling you? Came, they have replaced the 
this DC series generator with the induction speculator. But induction speculator is a rotating machine, any rotating machine has 80% efficiency which means the losses are 20% and initial cost is very high. So we are going for a solid state equivalent of induction regulator. A solid state equivalent of induction regulator is DVR. So in DVR you have an inverter, some DC source, some fuel cell or a solar cell or a wind generator with a rectifier, some source then inverter and then the injection transformer which injects the voltage to compensate the drop. So your uh, circuit model of DVR will be something like this. So your DVR at the sending end has generated line impedance. This is the DC source, this is the inverter, this is your injection transformer. Suppose if you are not using the DVR, close this switch. Then. Uh, this is the heavy load, this is the normal load. At home, you have the tube light, you switch on the heater, what happens? Tube light is load 1, heater is load 2. When you switch on the heater, what do you observe? The voltage decreases. So when a heavy load is connected, the voltage decreases, which you call it as voltage sack. So you find if the second load is turned on, the voltage decreases. Originally you have some voltage. When load is turned on, the voltage decreases. Then with DVR, you are injecting the voltage into the line. So here the load is on, voltage increases. At this point, DVR is on. So when DVR is on, the voltage comes back to normal line. Some standard waveforms available in any paper on DVR. If you take any paper on DVR, you find these waveforms. Some voltage is there, when uh, load is applied, then voltage decreases, then uh, your DVR starts injecting voltage. Once it injects, the voltage comes back to normal. So next, uh, fax device, uh, StatCom. If you are using at low voltage level, 11 kV, 6.6 kV or 400 volts, it is distribution stack. If you are using at 220 kV or uh, um, 400 kV, it is uh, general stack. Static compensator, which is uh, solid state version of uh, solid state version of uh, synchronous condenser. So we compare this with synchronous condenser. Another uh, popular interview question, what is the difference between synchronous condenser and synchronous phase monitor? So in an industry, if you need 10 motors, you recommend 9 induction motors, 1 synchronous motor. You are recommending 9 induction motors because they are very cheap. But uh, they operate at lagging power factor and you have to pay penalty. One you recommend synchronous motor that you operate at uh, over excitation that will operate at leading power factor, then overall power factor can be either 0.9 or So in an industry, if you are using a synchronous uh, motor which is supplying both mechanical power, one load it is supplying, also it is supplying reactive power to improve the overall power factor that is called synchronous phase modifier. A synchronous machine used in an industry is called synchronous phase modifier. A synchronous machine used in power system merely to improve the, uh, merely to improve the voltage is called synchronous capacitor or synchronous capacitor. So in a substation, one machine is running 365 days, 24 hours per day making noise and uh, supplying reactive power that is synchronous condenser because in a substation I don't have any mechanical load I don't have to run a flow mill or rice mill in a substation so it is just running and supplying reactive power and maintaining better voltage such a machine is called synchronous condenser or synchronous capacitor so if you under excite we compare the, we compare the, compare the synchronous machine with the Jadeja. Jadeja is an all-rounder who can do batting, who 
get to the bowling who will do fielding so normally excited he is doing fielding under excited he is doing bowling over excited he is doing bat so we are more interested in over excited region so in a synchronous machine when it is over excited it operates at leading power but we want to compare this stack from with uh, stack from with uh, synchronous